I'm at my sister's, uh, so a bit of a change of scenery and probably also a bit of a change in lighting. Um, so I am going to switch you over. I've got the party stuff from my nephew's first birthday up behind me. It's kind of neat. Look at the armadillos. Those were done by my younger sibling, Misha. Um, and now let us switch around to here. And we've got my artwork that I'll be working on today. And um, I'll just show you what I've brought along to stream on the go. So I'm really not convinced that streaming on the go was going to be the best idea ever. Um, sorry. Um, really not sure that this was the best idea to begin with, but uh, trying to get as best light as I can. Thanks, Connor. My brother-in-law just brought me a cafezine. Um. <laughs> oh, shoot, it's your vaccinated arm. <laughs> Um, can anyone tell me how my sound is right now? I don't have my, so I did want to share what I'm doing here. Um, so I've got my camera arm, which I brought along with me. And I'm working at my sister's dining table right now. Hi, everyone. Oh, good. Good stuff. I don't have any additional lights, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, but my sister's Wi-Fi seems to be less spotty than mine, so that is helpful. Lights are great, too. Awesome. Perfect. Actually, speaking of lights, could we turn... Is that a thing that turns on? It's outside. Wait, is what? This? This. Fixture? Oh, yeah, um, I don't think it's plugged in, though. Uh, I believe it plugs in behind you, so as long as you're willing to navigate behind a balloon tower... I can navigate behind a balloon tower. Yes, there's a... Is it already run over to here? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. It's a round cable. Is it this white thing? No, it's black and it's um round. It may not be quite all the way over there. Mm. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, it's no. In fact, that's right. It doesn't reach. Okay. Well, um, you know what? No, we can scoot it over there. I think the reason it wasn't in there before was because of the logistics of the photo shoot. Gotcha. But I believe. <clears throat> yep. Yep. In fact. Sorry. So you are watching me do some there you go. setup here. Okay. Perfect. Yep, that's great. And then the balloon tower can move. Aha. And there's a stampy uh, here, a foot pedal that we can just. Aha! More light. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And then, how's my sound now? Okay, and so then I'll show the rest of the stuff that I brought along. So I've got this weird thing that I got from Jackson's that looks a little ominous, and I'd kind of forgotten what it was when the Jackson's order arrived, like a month after I ordered it. I got this a few years ago. It's a brush holder. Image quality is better than usual. Yeah, because my sister's Wi-Fi is better than than mine. So I guess I just need to figure out what wheels to freeze. I don't know. Let me pay enough. And I've got 
a random plate that still has some experiments from a previous video that I grabbed on my way out. And I brought along this, which contains something very similar to my studio palette. So this is what I'm traveling with as my main watercolors. And I just grabbed a jar out of my sister's kitchen to use for water. Got a pen case that came with one of these fountain pens. It's got a bunch of fountain pens with different inks in them and some pencils and some other brushes and stuff. So this always comes with me. And that's about it. So that's my travel kit. And I'll be working on this piece that I started last week. And I won't drink my paint water. And you're probably hearing a crying baby in the background. And that's my little nephew. Oh shoot, I still need to go grab one more thing. Okay, where did that go? I had my iPad. Anyway, yeah, this week has been interesting, exhausting. How have you all been? This is really helping. What if I have it away like this? Oh, that does help if it's over here, doesn't it? You hear the baby in the background? I've just finished a sock today. I also stripped one of my walls of wallpaper. That's fantastic. So I'm curious, is anyone able to get 1080p now with my current setup? Because we were wondering whether that was camera or connection based and we suspected connection because there's nothing in the camera. The camera is capable of 4K, but we were wondering whether there was some like Samsung settings that were blocking it. 720, okay. So that's what I can usually get, but it does to just be kind of unreliable even at that point. <sighs> Work was tiring. Hi Dan, yes, hi Dan, hi Gabor, hi, who else is here? Uh, Amber. Yeah, so this is where I did my um, those Schmincke black tests. Um, so I've got some paint on this plate that's still there, as well as a little bit of Prussian blue over here. I'm not worrying about it too much, but I don't want it to mix too much with my stuff. Tatu? Arthur? Tá conversando? Just... <laughs> 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 
So my brother-in-law is preparing to go for a walk with my nephew, who I've been taking care of throughout the work days. Yes, Miss Papai sai cedo do trabalho na sexta, né? So, I, since I am in the main room, I do have baby contributing to the back here. Yes, hola! Okay, I need to run and grab my iPad, which I left upstairs. I'll be right back. Totally fine, you're out into the do you, uh, you don't, haven't seen my hat, have you? The Pokemon one? Not today. Yeah. Um. Oh. Hmm. Don't worry about it, honestly. I I'm might be trying. in one of these boxes. Yeah. Where things have been tossed in and out. That's where I found his helmet this morning. Okay. I'm, uh, not sure. I feel like I've seen it, but not, like, Yeah, not like, today. Yeah, and everything that's been arranged on a... Yeah, I think it's in I think it's in my room and I because he's strapped in I don't have the uh right. Alright, let's go. Daddy's gonna wear one of your bucket hats, child. Let's see how this looks. Kicks ash to toshi papai. Kick papai. Papai vai usar esse chapéu lindo do teto. Yeah, daddy's gonna get committed if you don't have it. <laughs> Tia deve trazer um chapéu pro papai? O papai deve usar o chapéu da titia? Titia pode trazer um chapéu pro papai. <risos> tatu, o, tatu, o tatu vai dar o chapéu do tatu? Você vê esse pequeno chapéu? Agora ele vai dar o chapéu do tatu. Ven Cami, un morzito. Vamos pasear, vamos pasear, vamos pasear. Chao, Tatu. Chao. Chao, Arthur. Anyway, I don't think that I'll keep this stream going as long as I usually do because um, yeah. I'm at my sister's house. I'm depending on outdoor light, which will change over time. Um, Uh, figured I'd do a little bit of sketching, get a little, a little something, something done. Um, so I think I was most of the way to where I am now the last time I streamed painting this piece, but I have done a little bit more since then, darkened up the background and a little bit more detailing. And so now I'm just going to keep on detailing this armadillo. The other thing is I'm super duper sleepy. I underestimated just how exhausting taking care of my nephew would be. So I actually brought a bunch of art stuff thinking, well, I'll still have my evenings um, and weekends. So um, both my sister and my brother-in-law are working and they lost their nanny. Um, 
nothing bad. Like she just, uh, they'd hired an international student and she got uh, like a job in her field. So she had to take that, obviously. She wants to stay in the country. Um, and so yeah. So now they're without a nanny. My sister is a public health nurse in the middle of a pandemic. My brother-in-law works in marketing. Um, so they, they're both working from home. But uh, with the... Uh, They can't take care of the baby during the day. So now we're rotating family members to take care of little little guy while while they work. So Dan's been knitting and seems to have had a busy day. What is everyone else up to? So I'm curious with you guys, when you travel, how much art or other work do you bring with you? Because um, I was a little bit conflicted and here with my sister helping her out, she's working full time and somehow still taking care of the baby. She and her husband both. Um, and I'm making dinners and etc. I've just got the baby, you know. Hey, yeah. So I've just I'm just taking care of baby for you know seven eight hours a day, and it is just wiping me. It's like can't I don't know how they manage. A little bit absurd because I that's the little guy yeah for like seven eight hours a day he naps for two of those hours and yet and yet still am sleeping like all the time all the time all the time Sorry, I am using my phone here to view my chat messages. Unless I can 
Oh, I bet I could stream this. Huh. Maybe. No, I won't try that. That's going to be a little weird. So let's not do that. Maybe next week I'll figure out a way to do that. Because I'm in the main room, I could technically, I guess, stream to the TV so that I could watch my own stream and read the comments back there, but not really what I feel like doing. So I got my hands on some manganese blue pigment recently. Um, and by got my hands on, I mean I ordered it. It's not arrived yet. So maybe I got scammed. We'll see. Hi, Lana. Hi, Steven. Bye, Amber. Where from? Um, eBay? <laughs> it was, okay, so actually I got advertised a, like, some, some pigment company spammed my Instagram, so I followed the link. Uh, I was kind of annoyed about pigment companies spamming me, but, um, I followed the link and briefly it looked like they had cerulean blue, but it was the wrong pigment. Oh, sorry, they had, they, they had what they called manganese cerulean. Um, and I thought, is that PB33? Um, but their default, like their main page didn't list the pigment numbers. Um, so I went into their catalog, it took some digging and I realized it wasn't PB33. Uh, but then I was kind of curious, so I searched it and realized that yes, I could get my hands on some PB33 pretty easily um, because there was someone on eBay selling some of it. Uh, so I grabbed some PB33 pigment, uh, like 20 grams. It's not, not a lot, but it should be enough for me to do something with, right? Hi Lauren, how are you? Hi Carola's Corner, welcome. So in between painting, I've also got my cafe Zima, which is like, it's espresso, but it's prepared the Brazilian way with sugar in it. Um, because I need to caffeinate myself after dealing with the baby for like, oh really, it was all of like six hours today, but you know, I'm wiped. If it's the same seller I use, it's legit. Oh, you no longer get your, your PB33 from... Cornelison Den. No baby? Uh, no, baby was here earlier, um, adding some color to the uh, soundtrack. Um, oh, but, uh, my brother-in-law has taken him out for a walk, which 
just great. Most afternoons. Oh, I take him out for a long walk. But I am glad to be doing this instead. This is so much less tiring. <laughs> so much less tiring. No, the act eBay seller I found does larger quantities and is cheaper. He has been verified by Cornelison. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, I I guess I also don't know what uh, like what to expect with uh, um. Sorry. Yeah, I guess I also don't really know what to expect with... Sorry, just a bit distracted by getting all of these lines. Done. Uh, sorry, Dan, I'm not sure what quantities of manganese blue actually looks, look like. Is 20, what does 20 grams look like in terms of volume or in terms of paint? <laughs> in terms of paint is really what I'm looking at. I'm like super scared of mulling manganese blue too, but I mean, I guess I do have like particulate respirators and what have you and can just do it outside. So it's not an issue, but. Also, 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 um, uh, one of our acquaintances in our, um, who sometimes in the chat goes by a whole bunch of different names, Kibitra's Forge on Etsy, um, does some lovely brass pans. I've been trying to think of what I would do with brass pans and thinking like, oh, well, you want to put something precious in there. So I have um, quinacridone gold in tubes as well as pigment, so I can put that in pans. I now will have manganese blue pigment. Um, manganese blue just doesn't behave well in tubes, so even if I could get my hands on tubes somehow, it's just, it's better to get it in pans or in pigment, uh, but I could load a brass pan with that. Um, does anyone have suggestions for other, like, similarly, um, you know, precious kind of, uh, you know, neat pigments worthy of a brass palette? And ideally, if I could get some in the, like, reddish range that are, hmm, like fast? That would be great.
about a tablespoon of lapis. About a tablespoon of pigment. So it's like... Okay. So like, presumably with 20 grams, I can like, make myself a pan. I can mold myself a pan. Yes? At least? It was, yeah, so it was sold in, like, all kinds of quantities, but, uh, starting at 10 grams, so I got 20. I'll make a couple of half pans worth of paint. You'll want to use a one-to-one -one ratio of binder to pigment. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. So that should last me a good long while. I'm not trying to get into selling paint. I just thought it would be fun to have some uh, manganese blue in brass. Um... And, uh, yeah, so I'll, I guess I'll just do that. And that's not like a terribly bad price either.
then I ended up paying for it. Okay, cool. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. When you pour it to do it in lots of layers, because it separates as it's drying, I'm assuming. Um, do you... Would you mull it in a bunch of... I guess you, since you're selling it, you might just do a whole bunch of batches. Um, what would you suggest to store it in between layers? Okay. No, you don't need to mull each layer, mull however you want, and store it in a jar, stir the jar before each pour. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Why the manganese blue, the granulation or whatever? The granulation is unique. The shade of blue is the closest to cy like to true cyan. Um, like Basically, PB17 and PB33 are the two pigments that are closest to cyan, and unfortunately, they are both uh, either discontinued or, like, at least hard to come by. PB17 isn't actually discontinued, it's just really difficult to get as a pigment. Um, there's some question about the light fastness of PB17, although it seems like it's actually light fast, so it's just it's just hard to find as a pigment. Um, and it is available, and there are some people looking into that, but um, PB33 is, uh, like, it's a granulating, liftable cyan. Um, it's a really pretty paint. Um, I don't feel like it's necess like absolutely necessary to have something that's exactly cyan, but it is really cool. And um, yeah, so like I like that I have some. I've got a few pans from Dan. Um, I don't use it terribly frequently, but you know, I, it's nice to have. Um, I don't need, 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 need to buy it. I don't use it in most of my paintings, um, but I do enjoy it. Uh, I was quite happy to never get into the toxic mess of mulling the stuff. Although then, um, again, I, I've been like eyeing these brass pans for a while and just feel like, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have like a full palette, like a full travel palette that's all brass pans, just for the sake of brass pans, but they are really neat. Um, so I've thought about doing like a little precious thing with just a few little pans um, that are all brass. Uh, maybe put it in a brass box, you know, for fun. Um, but I, yeah. So, so like it, it, manganese blue seems like, you know, the right fit for that. It's, 
along with Quin Gold. Like again, it's not necessary. Um, Quin Gold in the Quin Gold case, I have a lot of Quin Gold. So this is a Quin Gold. Um, I also have a bunch of the Daniel Smith. Uh, and some pigment and etc. So I'm not short on Quin Gold by any means and much like the manganese blue, it's not a paint that I feel like I need, 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 need in my regular palette, but it's cool and it's rare and it seems like a the right fit for like brass pans that are also cool and rare. I mean, you know, the weird collector thing, I don't know. The paint that shall not be named. Sorry, we're talking about DS here. Has the paint that shall not be named? Like the whole brand? Yeah, I mean, I have some feelings about that, but... But if I really care that much, I can also just mull some myself. I do, in fact, have pigment suspension of... PO49. Anyway, if somebody has a suggestion of a like ideally light fast bread that's uh you know hard to come by or otherwise spectacular, red, violet, pink, magenta. What color would be the most difficult to live without? Okay, I bet like the chat has an answer, can answer what I would answer for this. It's pretty obvious, but uh, I don't know. It's not a rare paint, so my hoard is not necessary. <laughs> All right, let me just double check here. Chats. But yeah, I don't feel the need really to um, you know, have a brass pan of Nicolazzo enjoy it but, but it's nothing precious now if that ever gets get discontinued and every so often I hear some terrifying rumors then then you'll see me really hoarding
because um, among other things, uh, Stephen, that's in your black mix, right? I find that's a little bit too much of an intense black mix for me. I prefer something that's a little bit less um, pow, but And yes, I do say that as the person who uses Nicolazzo Yellow for everything. I think the fridge is beeping at me one moment. Instead of putting something precious, you could put your regular colors into it and enjoy for every painting. So I just got a delivery one moment. The yeah, Great Dark is PG-7 and PR-254 can dilute it for neutral. PG-10? I've considered PG-10. PG-10 might go in there. I don't ever want to mull PG-10 again. That was, I have, like, nightmares. Um, but I do have some, so I might convince myself to mull it. I kind of, like, I kind of want to get a different shade of PG-10 than I have, um, but I don't want to mull it again, so I'm... Yeah. Divided on that. I also, like, I was really, really excited about PG-10, and I thought it would be the most useful thing ever. Um, and, like, I haven't found it as useful as I had hoped. 
So like it's pretty, but you know, like it's prettier. I find it a lot prettier than PY129, but to be honest, I find PY129 a little bit more useful for mixing. So yeah. Sorry about the shaky cam here, guys. Is Stephen making his pans again? Um, I'm not sure if he is yet. Uh, I think he's planning to. We've talked about it. He's also making boxes and all sorts of cool stuff. So, and we talked about like, cause I looked at all sorts of like antique, um, like brass boxes, like turtles and stuff. And, yeah. So, like, I just feel like it would be really cool to have some, some kind of something. And I haven't really decided what I'm doing with it. Um, but, like, yeah. Ah, uh, hello? What's going on with this? Can we get this running again? There we go. So I'm trying to get some texture in here without being too, too very precise. Um, I'm playing around with some, uh, yeah, just messing around with some different texture approaches with different pens and stuff. We'll see how this goes. Um, but given the good clients for this painting are, you know, in the other room and I'm taking care of their kid for free, um, I've got quite a bit of flexibility. <laughs> I've seen his boxes, they look cool. 
Mickey also makes some nice ones. Yes. Um, I, and I guess the other thing is my husband has taken up woodworking. And then there, I've also seen some really cool vintage brass boxes, like compacts and w weird little like storage cases and stuff. Um, so, you know, I, I'm sure that I could find something interesting worth making into a watercolor box. And like, I'd realize that this is not really, you know, there's nothing practical about this <laughs> at all. Uh, this is just like a sort of long-term fun project. Um, but you know, everyone needs some of those sometimes, <laughs> right? Somebody make me feel better about my hoarding. Um, He also lives in a cabin and does, like, man, every time he posts about something new he's doing, he's like, God damn it, why are you so cool? I want to be that cool. Hey, you. Camera's pointed straight down, don't worry. <laughs> My sister just came down. Uh, kind of freaked out a little seeing the camera, but she's just... Just done her work day. Off to wash up while uh, while the baby's out. Steve lives in a cabin? Yes! Yes! That was the last thing. Well, I live in a tiny cabin, so, you know, getting a tour would be difficult. Like, oh my god, you live in a little cabin, you make cool brass stuff, and, and uh, like, you know, hand tool woodwork things, and you build computers, and you, like, what the hell? Why are you so cool? 
how do I how do I become this cool? <laughs> Valentina twenty two says from Spain, I love your work. Gracias. And Dan says, I would love to order from Mickey, but I believe she's having some issues with UK shipping. Oh, that's too bad. Anyway, yes, I do still do fully intend to uh, get some of that cool brass or wood stuff. I still haven't figured out exactly what or how much or whatever, but we'll get there someday. No need to rush it. Be right back, need to feed the vermin. <laughs> awesome. Does the vermin include cats or is vermin strictly for the for the mousies? For the rats.
So it's been just over an hour here. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to aim for about the two hour mark with today's stream. Just, um, I sometimes go a lot longer, uh, in general. I don't know that I'm really up to, you know, keeping up the three, four plus hour streams I've sometimes done. Um, that gets kind of crazy, but, uh. But I think for today, especially being at my sister's, I'll try to aim for about two hours, and I think that will be plenty. Hi, Luzine, how are you? I'm good, exhausted. Meu sobrinho só quer passear. Passear, 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 passear. Ver carros, andar de bicicleta, passear. <laughs>
That's still beeping at me. Sorry, I need to go check on the fridge again. And apparently stop dunking my fingers into my own painting. Então, por conta de crianças com uma certa frequência também, então eu entendo, mas realmente é muito duro. I'm impressed you're still streaming after such a day. Um, yeah, well, because I promised to uh, stream. So I, I brought all my streaming gear and I told everyone that I was going to stream at 3 p.m. today and I arranged with my brother-in-law because he ends work early on Fridays that I'm going to stream. Once he picks up my nephew, um, takes him out for his afternoon walk. So, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't quite anticipating being quite as wiped out as I feel. <laughs> One moment, I need to check my freezer. I know you could speak Spanish. Easy to miss, make. It's Portuguese. Yeah, Brazilian Portuguese. It's very similar to Spanish. So I get by in Spanish, but um, yeah, Brazilian Portuguese. Mm -hmm.
Oh, hey, uh, yeah, no, no worries. I, um, I did this right at the beginning of the video, but there weren't very many people here, uh, so I did actually sh go through what I brought with me. So, um, I have this, which is, um, it's one of those, like, steel Spanish palettes. Uh, this one's from Arte Miranda. Um, but they're, like, ubiquitous in Spain and not found anywhere else. Um, and it's got mostly the same colors as I have in my, uh, home palette, like in my main studio palette, um, which I've got a video on, um, in fact, two live streams, one where I filled it and one where I swatched it. Um, and then in here I've got, uh, instead, the only difference though is that instead of um, phthalo green. I've got a green appetite, not genuine, um, because it, it's useful on the go, uh, for painting quick landscapes and stuff. It is not so useful for mixing, um, since when I'm traveling, I don't do as much, like, detailed layered stuff. Um, it seemed like it was a good replacement. Um, I've also got this pan, which is made by pen, um, and it's, uh, quinacridone gold, made with the Gera pigments. Um, so I'm, yeah, so that's, that's the paints I have. I brought this crazy thing, which honestly, um, I got it from Jackson's and it's a it's a brush holder and so it holds all the brushes and this little elastic thing here and then they all just fit together and they zip up and it's super handy um but to be honest I had ordered it from Jackson's when it was on clearance and then when the Jackson's order arrived and this came in it I thought that I'd like I was super confused because this doesn't look like an art supplies case and then when you open it up it gets even more confusing because inside it's got the the ring but it's also got this thing which I guess is to hook onto like a palette or something but honestly it just looks like it's some kind of bondage gear or something it's weird it's it's a brush holder though anyway um so I've got all my brushes in here And then, hey, the 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 camera's always just pointed straight at my desk. Oh, love it. No, <laughs> don't worry about it. Anyway, and then I've got a pencil case. This is actually just like a pen case that came for free with some pens. Um, I've got you know pencils and pens and stuff. Birdie. Before you go upstairs, I think there might be something up with your freezer. Like, I think it might be leaking its water thing. Yeah, I do think it's... Okay. It's at the bottom. I'll check. Thanks. Okay, the, the floor seems like it's got a bit of a swelling going on. Oh, really? And then it was beeping, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I came down, and there was, like, a spill by the freezer. So I mopped it up, but yeah, I would check. All right, ciao. Hi, Joy, how are you? I, okay, but like seriously, if you got a weird, like if you, like it was like five bucks, it was really cheap. So I just got it and then I forgot about it. It arrived a month later in Canada and I like, I unwrap it and I've got like two little things of paint and then this thing only it didn't have any of the brushes in it. So like, imagine you get this 
and this arrives and you open this up and you're like what is this it's like it's this long black leather thing and it's got a strap it's got a little clippy thing it's like what is this supposed to be what is this supposed to be it actually it's it's actually a pretty effective brush holder i literally i just got it because it was super cheap on clearance at jackson's but it does look like something else like i don't even know what else i mean but it is weird isn't it <laughs> i guess you turn it like more like this to display the brushes and then you have the brushes out and you have this and you attach it to an easel or something but it looks weird I don't think my mind would have gone where yours went. Well then, maybe it's just me and my filthy gutter mind. Mr. Jackson, we'll see you now. I wasn't the only one, by the way. I left it out on my table, and, like, my husband saw it, and he's like, what is this thing you bought? That's new and interesting. It's something you want to tell me? <laughs> uh, it's a brush holder. And then I had some friends who looked at it and were like, what is that? <laughs> I took it to a conference with a bunch of old ladies. Oh, uh, that's interesting. But who knows, maybe I just know a lot of people with uh, interesting minds. To be honest, I'd worry more about the brush holder being soft. Well. Okay, so it is soft, sort of, but it's like, it's a thick leather, and it's real leather, so it's a thick leather, and then when you put it in, like, these all sort of clump up together, and like, it's soft, but like, not really, like, you can't really fold it, right? Like, the brushes hold it in place, and then you can't, like, fold it over, so it does keep the brushes pretty protected. So, like, it's actually not a bad system. Like, I enjoy it, but... I am laughing so much, I got asked if I'm watching a sitcom or something. Oh, I'm glad that my streams are so entertaining. Okay, um, I'm going to work on a little bit of this foreground here, I think. Uh, oh, buddy. Buddy. I pulled up my uh, iPad to get the pictures of the Tatubala, and I got this, which is my nephew, uh, when he was even tinier, he's not this tiny anymore. Um, he's real cute though. He's real cute though. Real handful, but real cute. Okay, where do I, where did I leave my images? Images! Ha ha. I did some weird stuff with these and I need to 
figure out here and in here and in here I share your paint. I got some funny looks for my paint mullers. Tiny nephew. Yeah, he's so cute. Funny looks for my paint mullers. Yeah, paint mullers look like they belong elsewhere. Um, I use a, like, I've got a glass... Um, like a, a crystal bud vase that I got like it's vintage it's like from the 1920s or something that I got at a flea market that I use as a paint muller like I just scuffed up the bottom um and it's the right size to like grab to 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 hold to mull um but because it's got like whatever it, it's a vase so it it looks like a vase it doesn't look like your average paint mullers that look like other things but hey you know what if you wanted a cheap muller that does open up a, a, a different possibility doesn't it because i bet there is a there is a place that you could get things shaped like that that are cheaper than buying from an art supplier just a thought if you're that kind of person always looking for a deal <laughs>
I can feel myself getting tired and impatient here. Like usually I've got about three hours, three, four hours of painting in me before I start feeling really tired. It's been like not even two hours. I can feel it so much. So I don't know if I'm even gonna make it to two hours, guys. So tired. getting sloppy. <laughs> I just had to Google paint mullers. I just Googled. <laughs> it's kind of the other way around. Ah, wouldn't you be looking for plugs instead, maybe? Hmm? Maybe? I don't know. Drop off to sleep. I could definitely do with a couple more hours. Yeah, I think I might be off too. Feel free to hum a lullaby. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. So tired. I'll hum a lullaby like like Arthur was humming on his walk today. He's so cute. Sorry? He was it was like 2 hours of just like him singing all sorts of different th songs and I thought he was just I thought it was just like random babble. Like I thought he was just like making up songs, but I'm pretty sure that he thought he was singing specific okay. songs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we sent him another day. We got some sleep. What? Well, so I think that he was like. So for one of them, I noticed that he was doing his motions, like his dance moves for mm -hmm. pinching on Marilyn. Mm -hmm. So he. So he's just babbling. Da 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 da. But he does this. And he like he touches his hand and then he touches his feet and then he waves his hands around and and like oh okay so you're singing that so I don't know what the other songs were because I because they're babble he's like it doesn't match in tone it doesn't match in anything but okay I'm just going to go walk yes absolutely. My poor search history. You're welcome, Dan. Come on, girls. <laughs> no private browser for you, Dan, <laughs> during my art stream. <laughs> that sounds sort of like me singing. Yeah, yeah, so I was just chatting with my sister because I took my nephew out for a walk this morning and he was really, really tired because he didn't sleep well last night. Nudicles, Twinkle Tush, and now this. Anyway, I took my, my nephew for a walk this morning and uh, he was humming. I can post the video, but he was humming uh, for like two hours. He was super tired. I expected him to, him to fall asleep right away. Instead of falling asleep, he was just like death staring. Like he like... He does this thing where he gets really serious and focused when he's about to fall asleep. But he was doing that for like two hours, but he was happy. He was So he's humming to himself, so he's singing to himself, just babbling. Um, he talks a little, but like just individual words. Uh, and so I thought he was just like making up songs, but I'm pretty sure that he was singing his, like his nursery rhymes, his lullabies. Um, it's just that, you know, his vocalizations don't match up to what we would recognize as any of those songs. So I think I identified two of them, but 
the rest of them. It was just like, I mean, he's just singing things to himself quietly in his stroller. Um, I can post the video. It's a door rumble. Um, we walked around the block a really, 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 really long time before he fell asleep. Um, luckily, I don't have the funds or I'd be tempted to get a glass and try it on a video to see who notices. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, they show up sometimes. Anyway, I think I am probably reaching my limit pretty soon. Um, I'll hang out on Discord later, though. I have the rest of this afternoon, evening off. <sighs> um, now that the uh, now that baby's actual parents are off work. Ah. Like, don't get me wrong, I know that taking care of babies is, like, you know, an all-the-time job, and that they take a lot of energy. I have much younger siblings, I was the neighborhood babysitter, um, but I guess I had a lot more energy in my teens, and also, um, I wasn't really taking care of any babies back-to-back-to-back-to-back, to back to back to back, uh, for... A week where this is your responsibility only your responsibility he's one don't kill him for uh you know full days at a time and the little munchkin he did he demands a lot of attention a lot of attention hey sorry that was my doing. We are back briefly. I think I'm basically done though, so I'm just coming back to like not have that abrupt end. Um, but uh, yeah, I think my camera gave up, but uh, we're back and we, and I think that that is a cue for me to wrap this up anyway. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Sorry about that abrupt end. Um, I really enjoyed seeing you all today. And I'm going to go take a nap now. Good night. Good night, you. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah, uh, so anyone who is here now, um, I do have a Discord channel. Uh, Joy linked it in the comments. Um, we can chat throughout the week. Um, I probably, again, won't be super duper active um, next week because I have a baby all week. Um, but uh, I'll be there. Um, and uh, yeah. But it. Oh, uh, I also stream monthly on Patreon where I have some more structured streams where I do like an actual workshop class for um, 
patrons above my something, quinacridone magenta, PR122 here. Um, and I have blog posts there too, so if you want more streaming content, that's where you can find it. Put out um, edited videos, so my last video was about paint tubes, and that came out a few days ago. Anyway, nice to see you all. Um, I really need to go crash. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.